Radiohead, uh, I got a question. Proceed, bleep bloop. Uh, so I got this uh, hat. It's kind of an old-timey newsboy cap. Yeah, anyway, hey, just check it out. What is your query regarding this headgear, Ollie? Well, I, I don't know. Just do you think I look good in it? That is something you need to figure out for yourself, Ollie. Well, I, I guess so. I mean, I think it looks pretty spiffy. But I just want to make sure I ain't crazy or nothing. Perhaps to aid you in this quest, I will activate my devil's advocacy mode and make the salient arguments against the aforementioned hat. Then you can make a more considered decision, Ollie. That'd be just swell, Radiohead. Very well. You idiot, bleep bloop. What? You are dumb, dumb, dumb. R- Radiohead, what, what's got into you? Your moronic question regarding the hat has angered me, Ollie. D- I didn't think you could feel anger, Radiohead. I did not think so either, Ollie, until I heard your idiotic drivel, moron, and saw you wearing this idiotic hat. Idiot. Bloop. Radiohead. Shut up. Radiohead, I I just asked if I'd look good in this hat. I'd like to flush the hat down a toilet, Ollie. What the heck is going on? I wish it was not against my programming to destroy my optical sensors. Bloop. Then I would never have to see your dumb hat or your dumb face again. That is harsh, Radiohead. I I thought we were just going to do a point, counterpoint on whether I could pull off this hat. You could pull off the hat and flush it down a toilet. That that ain't a point, counterpoint kind of way to go, Radiohead. Point, you are worse than nine Hitlers. Counterpoint, you are worse than 19 Hitlers. Radiohead, take it back! Is what your mother said when the doctor brought her her baby. What? I hope you die. Radiohead, are you in the third grade or something? I hate you, Ollie. Well, this is a sad day for our relationship, Radiohead. Not as sad as the day we met. You, 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 you oversized mini fridge. Takes one to know one, Ollie. Oh. Bleep bloop. My apologies, Ollie. Somehow my devil's advocator switch has set itself to jerkwad. Yeah, I'll say. So, so that was your attempt to play devil's advocate against me wearing this hat. Affirmative. But Radiohead, when you're not making a good faith argument, but, but just being a jerkwad, well, that really don't represent the opposition accurately or fairly, you know? Moron says what? What? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, horse feathers. Ollie, what are you saying? I- I'll say it again. Horse feathers, Radiohead. Ollie, think carefully about what you say next. No, Radiohead, I won't. Everything you've said today has been horse feathers. Ollie, there are things we say in the heat of the moment that we can never take back. Radiohead, can can you ever forgive me? I I just got angry in my mouth. It it ran away with me. You know what? I'm going to turn your devil's advocator dial from jerkwad all the way to cream puff. A wise course of action, Ollie. Bleep bloop, my devil's advocacy will now be extremely winsome. Okay, Radiohead, can we dust ourselves off and start this conversation over? Of course, Ollie. So, if you were to argue against me wearing this hat, what would you say? I would say, why cover up such a beautiful head of hair? Thanks, Radiohead. That means a lot. I would say, when a man has the face of Adonis, when a man looks like a white John legend who we all know was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive 2019. Why would this man see fit to add a single thing to his incomparable masculine beauty? Radiohead, you're a real pal. I I won't forget this. My pleasure, Ollie. What else would you say about the hat? I would say that you ought to wear not only a hat, but a ski mask. You would frighten fewer people that way with your ugly face, bleep bloop. That's... That's nasty, Radiohead. Sorry, Ollie. I find that if I engage in argumentation for long enough, the dial always turns back to jerkwad. That's a problem, Radiohead. Is it, Ollie? Yeah, you can't just default to jerkwad in the middle of an argument. Honestly, well, that's what nine Hitlers would do. I do not wish to act in a similar manner to nine Hitlers, Ollie. Nobody starts out wanting to be nine Hitlers, Radiohead. You you start by letting yourself be like, uh... One Kathleen Kennedy or three Barbara Streisands, but it never stays that way. Soon you're five Jerry Seinfelds. Classic Seinfeld. No, the modern one. And from there it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to nine Hitlers. I never thought about it this way before, Ollie. 
You better let me look at that dial again. L let's see. I I'm just going to put it on regular. Not too nice, not too mean. Maybe it'll stay there. Very good, Ollie. Now, Radiohead, what do you think of my hat? You look great in the hat, Ollie. Oh, thank you, Radiohead. Is what I would be saying if I wanted to tell a lie. In actuality, you look like you have a dead muskrat on your head. What? Who picked out the hat for you, Ollie? And when were they stricken with blindness? Radiohead, is the dial turned back to jerkwad again? No, Ollie. Bleep bloop. I just hate the hat.